Hi everyone. Um, just wanted to do a little video for you that if you are purchasing a colour from us, just to show you how is the best way to put it on just your roots. And if you're wondering why Sarah's here, um, who works in the salon, so she's been on lockdown with us now for four weeks because um, she is the girlfriend of my son Morgan, so her mum's still working, so it was best for her to come and stay with us. So it's been an ideal opportunity for us two to be able to do some work um, and teach him with me to do a bit of teaching with Sarah. Um, and now I did say that I wasn't going to have my roots coloured, but I just thought, well, so I can show everybody um, how to do it properly and safely, then it's always also a good way of getting Sarah to have a little bit of practice in as well. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do like a little demo. It's, it's super easy, but just make sure that you've protected your, your, your clothing. Uh, make sure that your hair's combed through. If you want to get somebody else to do it for you, like your husband or your daughter or your sister, then this is an ideal way. So when you've bought the formula from me, then um, when you mix it, I will have given you the right amount of colour to the right amount of peroxide. So it will just be a case of putting both formulas in a bowl at the same time. And you'll need to get a bowl and a brush like this. They sell them in um, Poundland. And you just mix it to consistency like this, okay? Now, I will give some people more than others, depending on how much hair they've got. So I know that some people's hair is thick, <coughs> thicker than others. And once you've finished using it, then after about 30 minutes, then it's not really any good for anything else. So it's better not to waste it. So that's why I'll give you, the, you know, probably a bit more than what you need, but I won't give you loads if you haven't got thick hair like me. So that's about enough for my roots. So I would have definitely have waited until we go back, but as I say, it's just a good way of showing everybody. So what Sarah's gonna do is she's gonna separate, she's gonna section my hair first. So she's gonna comb it all through um, and she's just gonna sort of like kind of semi-section it to begin with. So she's gonna comb it back and kind of put a parting down the middle. It doesn't have to be a, an exact middle parting, but a straight line is good because then you've got a good guidance all the way from the front to the back, mm -hmm. to the nape of your neck. So if you just do like split it all in half, try and have one straight line all the way round. And then what we do then is, um, we do what's called a hot cross burn. So then we do exactly the same around this area of your head as well, okay? So basically from ear to ear. So she's kind of like doing a hot cross burn on my head. And that just will just start her off just a little bit. Okay, if you can see. That's what she's doing. I'm just gonna go around your forehead. There. So she's gonna use, dab the, the brush into the colour and just go around the perimeter area of all of the outside of my hairline, all the way around. Okay, so she's putting enough on just to cover my root area. Um, now, I have only got um, a few light areas to frame my face in, um, as in foil. So if she goes a little bit further than what she needs to, then that won't really matter. But for people that really want to keep a lot of their other colours that have been put into their hair bias, then just literally just dab it on to the area where it's needed, where you can just see your root. You are unfortunately going to go over the, you know, a, a fair bit of your blonde um, but you know we can we can get that blonde back as soon as we're back in the salon, so don't worry about that. So what we've done is we've brought the screen home from work, so it gives you the feel like you're in the salon. Mm -hmm. um, we're massively missing everybody. We cannot wait to get back in. Um, as I say, I don't think it's been as hard for me and Sarah because we've had each other, and we've been able to do like each other's brows and. Um, some lashes and um, I've been able to tint Sarah's, Sarah's um, eyelashes and stuff. So it's been, we've had each other as company because as work friends as well as, you know, out of work. So um, it's not been that bad. And Sarah's been doing loads of work because she's currently doing a training um, to be a hairdresser. She is our lash technician, but she is powering through this work. So I have got high hopes that she will be fully qualified level two hairdresser by Christmas, if not before. Um, so being able to do this is great for her because it's great practice and it means that, you know, even if we're sort of now 
getting into being four weeks away from the salon. If you're not doing that the same thing all the time, then it is quite easy just to forget. So it's perfect for us to be able to practice on each other. Um, I know that Grace will be able to practice on her mum as well. Um, and, you know, it's ideal really. Um, so if you can see, she's gone all around the perimeter, all around my hairline. Mm -hmm. So what she's going to do now is that first section that she took from here to the back of my neck, to the nape of my neck, she's now going to cover that area. So she's just going to go from side to side with the colour again and just go all the way to the back of my um, head, to the end, to the back end of my hairline. So she's just dabbing it on. What she's doing is she's using the tint on both sides of her brush. So she's not having to keep going back in because you have got tint on both sides of your brush. So just keep flipping your brush over because you know you, you're going to have to be very aware that you don't want to be overloading certain sections because you will run out of colour. Um, so you don't need to be overloading it. Okay, just a little dab of, of each side that will cover it plenty. Um, be careful when you're doing it, make sure you're not flicking it everywhere. So again, don't overload your brush with too much tint because if you do, you'll end up flicking it and it'll be all over the place. Um, <clears throat> so it's not the easiest thing to be able to clean. So she's just going to the back. It will feel cold on your head, that's normal, so don't worry about that. It will so soon warm up and heat up. Now, um, if you're putting a tint on, um, then what I'll also do is I'll mix the correct developer for you for, as an individual. So if you're not my client, I'll ask um, whoever um, whoever's client you are that which which developer, and we've all got a record of the colours that we use on you. So again, what we're trying to do is we're trying. To, I don't want to be selfish or anything, but I'm trying to just concentrate on people that are still having to go to work. If you're at home, then just give your hair that break that we've been telling you to do give it that hair holiday um but if anyone is actually on the front line or they're a key worker then you know please don't hesitate i've got colors here i'm happy to mix them for you um and you know it, as providing that you have you are already a client of ours if you're not a client i can't do it for you because i don't know what colors that you have so i'm really really sorry about that but um i can help our clients um, that are all still going to work. Um, I just want to make sure, you know, don't want you to make it you feel any worse than you already are when, you know, you're putting your lives at risk for all of us while we're staying at home. Mm -hmm. um, and I just, you know, want to make you, or everyone feel better about themselves. And I can't wait for you all to get back to selling, but this is really important for us to, to really help our key workers. So what Sarah's done now is she's, um, now gone over to her other section, which is like where, as I say, with a hot cross bun, and she's gone from ear to ear with the colour again. I'll be able to see if it had that so on. put my head forward, mm -hmm. and then to the side, you can then see. So then it's about covering the rest of the section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn to the side. I'm going to carry on talking so you can actually watch what Sarah's doing. Okay. So what she's doing now is she's going. So she's not going to keep um, repeating her sections. She's going to take each little section from the each um, divided quarter of her hot cross bun. That's what my head currently is. And um, then she's putting the, the tint on. So she's getting coverage everywhere and she's not covering too much. Um, remember ladies, if you haven't, if you don't need to keep putting tint all over to the ends of your hair unless it's faded. You're just over processing your hair. So this basically is just getting you through this period of time while we're closed. We, we know we can't do the full works for you, but we can just try and do our best for you. Um, so if you have got somebody that's in the house with you that is you know, um, capable of doing this, then as I say, please, please don't hesitate to contact me. Um, and I will, I will bottle it all up and you can come and collect it from my doorstep, or we can deliver it to your house if you live locally. Um, if you don't live locally, then there will be a delivery charge, unfortunately, but not much. Um, I just want to try and help everybody out as much as I can, but I also um, have to make sure that we've also got enough um, products for when we do return, because we know we're going to be absolutely mad busy. Um, so, as I say, please don't hesitate to contact me. Some of you have got my personal number. Some of you are friends with me on Facebook. 
Um, and if you're not, and you know that one of your friends is a client of mine who is a key worker, then as I say, just pass the information on. So if you can see what Sarah's doing, she's actually just taking small sections and she's just dabbing that tint on. She's just gonna go through every single area. Okay, I've got a nice little bit of Adele playing in the background. Let's try and relax us. I think you're desperate to get back to them lashes, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely, we're missing it. Yeah, we're missing everybody, we really are. Mm -hmm. And you know, Sarah is gonna be such a fantastic up and coming hairdresser. She's, um, we've got to choose an ambassador um, from the salon to be our matrix ambassador. That's the new brand of colors that we're using. And Sarah is our ambassador, so she's going to be doing lots and lots of training when we get back, going off to Manchester and all over the place. So it's an amazing opportunity for her, and she's going to come back and teach us lots of things, which will be fantastic. And the new company that we've started working with, Matrix, we just really are happy with everything that's been happening. Um, the education that's been coming out to Salon, Rachel, has just been fabulous. Yeah, she's Absolutely. been amazing. Oh, amazing. Um, and it you know massively inspiring and totally you know it's always there for us for everything even when it's just simple times like this now you know just getting a little message from her or from alex our rep you know it's just meant the world to everybody so you know um we that we've really really going to go far now i think that we've grown a lot in the last year even but i think this year now when we get back is going to definitely be our year um we're up for a lot more awards thankfully um so fingers crossed we're up for some real biggies this year so um to be nominated has been fantastic to win the ones that we already have has been amazing um but for the nominations that we've had already have been really really good so you have to everybody keep your fingers crossed so if you can see now she's already completed virtually one section mm -hmm. and uh She's doing it a little bit slower than what she normally would do it simply because she wants to be able to show you all properly how to do yeah, it. How to do that. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Good section. There's complete. one section complete. So I'm going to turn around. You can see my mush again now. <laughs> and um, I think um, what we're going to do now is we're just going to pause for a little moment. And then when we get back to the front area, we're going to come back to you. <laughs> Um, Sarah's covered everywhere that needs to be covered and I'm gonna leave it on to develop for 30 minutes and um, if you happen to get distracted don't worry it's not gonna 
do any damage if you leave it on any longer. It stops developing after a certain length of time anyway. Um, so we're just gonna uh, 